Listen up. If God has blessed you with a spiritual woman, this video is for you. And when I say spiritual woman, you know, you can be low vibrational spiritually. You can be tapped into some stuff spiritually that has you out here moving like these lower vibrational entities, these demons. So I'm not talking about those women. I'm talking about spiritual women who are aligned with love. It's not going to be easy dating us because dating a spiritual woman is like always being around a mirror because a spiritual woman is going to see you and cause you to see yourself. Now, if you have been perpetuating a lifestyle, a message, a persona, when you're with a spiritual woman, we tear that down. And in love, we always call it out. Not, be not because we want to attack you. Not because we don't want you to be great. It's because we love you and we want you to be great and live in integrity and in alignment. Spiritual women, we are not only human mirrors and seers, but we feel things deeply. We feel your pain. And on our watch, we can't bear to see you hurt. And spiritual women, you have to learn that you have to learn how to balance that. Being an empath, and being codependent. It's a real thin line. So spiritual women, you have to learn that everyone is on their own journey. And some people are choosing pain. They might not think that they're choosing pain, but their actions always tell you what their choices are. And that's not personal, but that is their journey. So you can't step in and spiritually save the day. A person has to save themselves in the line with the most high on their own but a spiritual woman will fill you with that being said when you're lying a spiritual woman will fill you sometimes right to the moment it's happened with me spiritual women also have the ability to love you so well that your life completely up levels and transforms and first being around a spiritual woman, she's going to always call the gook, the lower vibrational ways of being, the shadow to the surface. And if you're brave enough and can stick with it, that spiritual woman will help you alchemize that. She's not doing the work. She's inspiring you to do the work. Yeah, she's not coming in like a life coach. She's someone here in a partnership with you, wanting you to elevate but she's not for play play. You're not gonna play in her face because spiritual women, there's love and there's also wrath. And it doesn't always have to mean, like it doesn't mean anything demonic or negative or anything like that. But a spiritual woman's wrath might be her silence that you will never have the opportunity to, to experience her again. A spiritual woman's wrath might mean that by her leaving your life, certain favors, certain certain favoring your life, certain um, opportunities, a certain elevation is now gone. There was a light that that spiritual woman had in your life. And that life is blessing you, your ancestors, and your future selves. And sometimes by that spiritual woman not being around, now you're out of alignment. So... If you've been blessed with a woman who is spiritually tapped in, and I'm not talking about because she goes to a building every Sunday, I mean you can tell it in her life. And she's been given gifts, spiritual gifts, and she's flowing in them. You are blessed. Don't play with spiritual women. You never know who they are spiritually. And why would you want to hurt a whole earth angel spiritual women are gifts and you were sent her likely because you're a gift too and sometimes i'll say this as well spiritual women will attract lower vibrational entities trying to feast on her light 
and spiritual women, you have to peep game and overstand that you're still in your flesh, you're still in your humanity. With that being said, these spiritual streets are real. When you have a light and when you are flowing and you have the ability to help others heal their lives, the matrix, these, the agents in the matrix are not happy about that. And they're going to be on your tail, sis, trying to feast on your light, trying to weaken the um, gifts that God has given you because these entities also know the work that you're able to do and how you can mess things up for the kingdom, right? How you can um, be the glitch in this matrix. And so you'll often be sent your type, these distractions. You'll often be sent, you know, people to take you out of alignment. So you also have enough, you have to have enough spiritual discernment to know who is who. Okay? So from my heart to yours, stay aligned. God loves you. And I love you.